Ben? Oh. Ah! Turn the light out. Ah. It's too bright, man. John gave me a call and he said, oh. said you weren't doing too well. You're right. You said you've been here three days. Oh. I'm going to do the, the interview, is that all right? Mate, why are you still doing these? Well, you, you, you paid me for six, six episodes. So. Did I? Yeah. Well, Can I have any money back? I need it. No. <sighs> Mate, no one's going to watch me. I'm fucking homeless, man. I'm not going anywhere to go. I don't know to do. Don't say that, you know, just down on your luck. Damn, well, look, mate, I'm wearing the last bit of clothing I've got is because flipping Mike gave it to me. What do you do with the rest? It's just not bin bagging it. It's been three days. Oh, I said I was only going to be here for a day. Oh, I've got nowhere else to go. Oh. What are you going to do now? I don't know what I'm going to do, mate. Laura's left me. Like, Laura ran off. Left you. Yeah, she ran off with Mike, didn't she? Oh, mate, everything's just gone from bad to worse. Like, he's taken my. Misses, he's taken my business, he's oh. and you know it's all gonna come crumbling now because he doesn't know what he's doing. You got any food, mate? You got anything? How did how did this happen? Because you were doing quite well, weren't you? Oh mate, Mike spends fucking money like it's going out of fashion, like you know, he was just keeps kept spending it and just kept saying, Look, it's it's gonna turn around, it's gonna be okay and he was just like he just lied to me, he just said he had all these gigs lined up, all this money and I just kept borrowing money off people because I thought oh, eventually it'll turn around and when you know it came to paying it back I just I asked him for it and he, he had nothing. Is that a beanie? I mean it's cold man. You tried to call him or anything? Yeah. Yeah I've tried calling him but I had to sell my phone didn't I so I've lost contact with him for a bit. Oh, I've not eaten for a day. It's got rice krispies on the own. I don't want to you know throw fuel on the fire mate. Said we got oh mate, come on! Where am I gonna go? <sighs> Out by two. Oh, what, what time is it now? It's one thirty. Come on then, fucking take this with me as well. You did actually say something. Oh come on, man! Ridiculous. It's all right, you're okay. No one's fucking giving me anything. Oh, I just need fucking a bit of luck on my side. Oh. So how's life been treating you since the documentary came out? Stitch up, really. That's that's what that's what I call it. I'm an educator, a motivator, somebody to look up to, somebody to aspire to be like, right? A bit like Jesus, really. And I'm actually doing it in real life. So I was portrayed as like an egotistical, arrogant moron, and that's not me. Everybody was upset. Oh, I feel sorry for Dan. Let's get the violins out. But come on, he's made a rod for his own back because he was clinging on, and he knew. Star of the show was it. Right, come on, we better go. Just got to go. Come on. You want me to say bye to him? Oh, he doesn't want me here anymore, mate. He doesn't want me here anymore. Just got to go. Right. See you later, John. Fuck off. Yeah. He, he spent way too long, he spent way too long on my coattails, trying to hold on, and even Laura, even Laura knew. She's left him, obviously, sure, we're together now. So obviously the last, last documentary had me come in, a bit of a, my homecoming, um, you know, sure, the people, you didn't see it in the documentary, but there was quite a few people after who realised I was in town and, you know, they came out and stuff, but that was the homecoming and, you know, I used to, I used to, I used to live up, I used to live up north, I, I, I bought that, you know, that, the, the mansion, but a couple of issues with, 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 with the rent and things like that that went on, uh, you know, so I, I've ended up moving, moving back down to Bath and, um, yeah, I love it, I love it down here, um, love it down here, settled now, um, just, yeah, used to be chauffeured, used to be chauffeured, I have to, I have to, I have to drive now, but I prefer, I prefer it, I love all that, um, but yeah, got myself a, got, my, got myself a, a little car, another car, which I'm, yeah, pleased with, so, did a car reveal. Oh, what, you bought a car, what, cash, all right? No, 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 I got it, um, just got, got finance. There's room in the back now, because obviously, you know, children so not because I'm a pedophile. Catch me saying that I'm gonna throw a bottle of water at Dan's head and you're gonna come across a bad guy. You are but they don't know how useless he has been so it swings and roundabouts it's a balance. Instagram did delete your account 
yeah, they deleted my account, but I've still got I've still got a loyal fan base. I've still got a loyal fan base. They they got rid of it. I've had to start afresh, you know. But luckily, I'm I'm big in the game, um, and I'm going to flip that shit round, and I'll be straight back up to the top, you know. And I'll be closing in on the seven and a half thousand followers again. Wait, where are you going to go now, mate? Stay. Um, I don't know, it looks. Yeah, it looks alright. Looks dryish. I used to let Dan do all that. So I don't really know what's going on with my finances. I, all I know, I just keep spending. Let's get in from work. What are you, a salesman now? A salesman? No, no. I'm selling BCAs and glutamines people. Right, what's, I mean, what's that? Well, we, do, we, we, do do BC, we do some BCAs and glutamine, but it, that's a small percentage of what, of what we actually sell. So, right. yeah. I don't really pay much attention. I'm not an admin guy. I'm the face of it, so I'm not an admin guy, no. Do you have like discount codes and that? Discount code, no. Um, I'd never, I'd never sell that. I always said I'll, I'll never do discount codes. What I've gone for, I've gone down the, the avenue of sort of like an online password, sign online password, where I would just give it out to people who, fo you know, for my sponsorship and the people who follow me would would, would use my, my, my password. Um, and they would get, they'd get money off. Um, they get money off pillows, things like that. Um, and I'd get kicked back as well. So financially, we're both better off. They get money off, uh, you know, a supplement or a pillow or whatever it is. Something that usually doesn't work. Yeah, it's good. And it basically, if, if you think they can afford 30, 40, 50 quid to spend on a supplement, right? So they've got enough money. So I'm taking from the rich, basically, and giving, you know, to myself, to the poor. Like, so again, and poor. again, well, not poor, um, but as in like, Robin Hood did the same thing. He, he was doing it to boost his fucking legacy, wasn't he? Let's, we all heard of Robin Hood. He wasn't doing it for the poor people. He was doing it for himself, wasn't he? So it's like, you know, me. I, I mean, I'm very much like a Robin Hood figure. And I look great in tanks. What, what you got there? This, probably just more fan mail. I tend to get a lot of fan mail, like a lot of fan mail. I right, um, stick it on the pile, to be fair. I used to get Dan, I used to get, you know, the little bold bloke who used to live here to read it. But um, yeah, I haven't got no time for it. And to be fair, it's all drivel. Well, I mean, why, who, do, who the hell do you think you are contacting me when you're, you know, you're scum? The, the, the scum, and they go, oh, Mike, you are the best. You are the best, you know, you're the, the, you're the best coach. You're the funniest, you're the most attractive. And it's like, tell me something I don't know. Tell me something I don't know. Like, do, I need, do I need you, do I, do I value your opinion? Like, you're lower than low. And you're saying, oh yeah, of course, of course you're gonna look up to me, look at me. I don't need that secondary validation. I know how good I am. So I don't need you with your scroll. Just because I look this good, doesn't mean that I've got an ego. Um, Would you consider yourself a humble person? I'm definitely the most humble. Like, if there was a chart, I'd be top. I'd be top of the league, because I'm the most humble. You'll never get me on that one. Is it another fan? Is it? Yeah, no worries. It is me. It's me. Pound for you there, bud. There you go. Yeah, sure. Yeah. So obviously, la last time we spoke, you were you were homeless, weren't you? Had how did you turn it all around? Well. I mean, it turns out obviously with um, Mike and Laura were sort of together and that was all a narrative from Mike. Um, you know, I bumped into Laura uh, in the street and she just said that Mike just moved himself in. He spent a, like a night on the sofa and she just felt pity on him. Um, and he was parading all over social media that they were together and she wasn't happy about it and she, um, she kicked him out. And um, that's when we started chatting. She obviously said to me that like, I can come back in um, and then I showed her everything that happened and how it wasn't my fault. It was all because of Mike and Mike spending and she was none the wiser. She didn't know. And again, because I didn't know, we didn't, we didn't really talk about it. So, um, it didn't take long, you know, once I exposed his lies and, and the way he is, um, she, she took me back and we, we've never been stronger to be honest. Business is quite good at the minute as well, isn't it? Sorry, hang on a sec. Let's go. Oh, is it? Is it waiting a sec? No, no, we should be charging more for that. No, we should be charging a lot more. Yeah, I've got to go, I've got, to go. I've got another meeting, I've got another phone call now, but yeah, charge more, definitely charge more. Yeah, yeah, mate, like, the phone's going non-stop, like, it's, it's ridiculous, because now obviously I'm just doing what I want to do on my terms, how I want to do it, and 
all the ideas that I had that Mike used to just bat off and used to just, you know, like be derogatory usually, um, just call me something and send me off to run an errand. Um, we're doing what I want to do now. You know, I'm listening to myself, I'm believing my gut instinct and, and it's paying off, you know, the phone's not, it's, um, it's going off, off the hook, mate. I, I don't know what, it's too much work, if anything. Where did it all go wrong? Go wrong? What do you mean go wrong? Well, it's obviously not. What's gone what's what's wrong? What's gone wrong, really? That's the next logical step for any fitness professional because people want to aspire to look like me, obviously can't get the same physique. So it's like, okay, I'll bring out a clothing range. And it was all, it was all, it was all tapered, for, it was muscle fit, seamless. It was, yeah, fantastic. B&H, B&H clothing. What does the B&H stand for? B&H, be humble. Be, be humble. Because that, that was kind of my mantra, my motto, be humble. Always got to stay humble. Be so be humble. Be and humble. It's um, money good if you manage to pay off the... Yeah, so I mean, I've, I've got really lucky to be fair. Like, I went to the bank, you know, I showed him how much work I'm doing and managed to pay off a big chunk of the debt and obviously working through that monthly now. And um, yeah, I'm pretty much, pretty much close to paying it off. Um, so yeah, thankfully, I've landed on my feet, you know. Um, but I've always been that way. I've always been hardworking. Always been prepared to do what I need to do and just keep my head down. You know, I've learned a lot of, over the years, I've learned a lot about how not to do things. Um, so, you know, I'm just down to, just down to myself and I just rely on myself. I don't rely, let anyone else infiltrate my, my thought process, how I want to do things. Um, yeah, mate, it's just, just busy and I'm enjoying it, you know. What do you think of Mike's situation? <sighs> well, the less said about him, the better, to be honest. But, um, I mean, last time I heard he was trying to clothing brand or something, I mean... So how much did you invest into um, B&H clothing? How much I invest? Yeah. Well, taking into account all the, the funds that me and Dan made uh, between us, the, the, you know, the seminars, you know, the, the YouTube revenue and things like that, roughly, off the top of my head, £32,000. You're not taking into account all the, all the, all the income that I, I generated from that. So I was making, because it was my, I was, the, I was a sole, sole, sole owner, I was making a clear 50 pence profit for every item of clothing that I, that I sold. So. How many did you sell? How many did I sell? 17. <clears throat> 70, 70. Blocked his number now, I just go straight to voicemail. So I don't, I don't get anything through. Um, I, I just don't wanna, I don't want anything to do with him. What? I, I realise now for so long he was yeah. dragging me down. No, pushed the interviews back um, this afternoon. Uh, so disrespectful in how he, how he spoke to, to people and I just don't think he'll ever change. No, uh, no reunion on the cards then? Nah, I've, I've wiped my hands with him, to be honest. Um, like I said, I've got too much to do now as well. I can't just wait a second. How do you feel about Dan getting back on his feet? Dan, um, yeah, fair, fair play. Obviously, um, him and Laura have got back together and re rekindled, and it looks like they're going from from strength to strength, you know, strength to strength. And Laura, I'm home. You in? Hey, mate. You alright? What are you doing here? What are you doing in my house? What was that mean? My Why phone, are you in my house? My phone calls I don't care. Huh? I've been ignoring your phone calls for a reason. I don't want to talk to you, mate. Just to get talk. out. Just, wanted to talk. Just get out. I'm sick of it, mate. I'm currently in between places now. Uh, I'll, I'll sort. I'll, you know, I'll, I'll be fine. I'm sick of it. Well, can't we? Just go. Just go. Just go. Just go. I don't want to speak to you. Just go. Out now. I've never really seen Dan act like this, to be honest. He's usually, he's always been such a good friend, like really kind and caring. And obviously, he's, he's a father. He's got that sort of maternal uh, disposition. But yeah, he's just, he's just blanking him, blocking his calls. Like he just doesn't have any time for him at all. So do you think? Do you think a reunion's on the cards then? Do you think Mike could make up? Mate, I, I don't know what you're talking about Mike for. Like, it's, it's just gone. It's been and gone. I'm so busy now with work. I just can't, like, I haven't got the time. I haven't got the time for anything. I don't have time for anything else at the moment other than work and, and family. It's, it's all consuming, to be honest. You had um, some good times, though. Yeah, like, you know, we did before, before he changed. You know, he, he changed fundamentally as a person. The way he was, the way he acted, the way he treated me, he was just, he changed. And, and I lost my best friend, you know. But that was the old Mike. That was, that was before, you know, Instagram was around and I just don't think I can deal with that again. Would you not think there's a chance for 
Mate, mate, no, just stop. I don't want to talk about it anymore. I don't want to talk about it anymore. I'm done. Okay. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. No, just stop talking about him. Just stop talking about him. I don't. Nothing to do. Nothing to do with him anymore. We put our whole lives now on on social media, and people lap it up. It's a, it's, a, it's the lowest form, and that makes us feel like we're important, and we care more about likes on a photo of my abs than and the actual people who were around me, who, who, who cared for me. And I, I, I took the easy option. I took the easy option. I didn't want to work. I, I relied on Dan. I lent on him. I had it good. I had it good. I was working with my best, my best friend. And, and I took him for granted. I would have... I would have loved to have been a doctor. I'm too lazy. I'm too lazy for it. I was in the RAF, would have loved to have been a war hero. Done something like that. Too scared. Too scared. And there's people out there in the world who make a difference and I'm above my station and I'm, and I'm bollocking Dan because the cappuccino's a bit cold or because he's got me sparkling water. And I've lost everything. Hey Dan. Yeah, I can't get through again. Yeah, he's been five or six times now, I'm a bit, I'm a bit worried, it's straight to answer phone, so um, just, wanting, just wanting to catch up on things, you know, uh, see, see how you are and that, so if you, if, you, if you give me a shout. I've lost everything because I've lost it. Whenever you can. Whenever you can. <sighs> Anybody else? Me. Just me. I, 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 th I thought, I thought I was something and and without without him, I'm I'm nothing. I thought I had everything, and I've got nothing. I've lost it all. I've lost my job. I've lost. I lost my house. I lost my business. I lost all lost all of it. But the worst of it is, is that I've lost my best friend. Um, so yeah, I've got 10 minutes now to get to a meeting. Yeah. How many times have I told you? I, I don't want anything to do with you, mate. I just, I'm done. I'm so done with it. I just want you to hear me out, no? You've had plenty of chances, mate. You've done plenty of chances. Do you remember? Do you remember all the chances you've had? you fucked them all up, mate. All of them. Oh, it's I, done. I just wanted to keep these for like old times sake. I don't want they, them. Keep them. I don't want them. I don't want them. Just keep them. Just, just, just take them. Will that shut you up? Get in, yeah, yeah, mate. Sorry, mate. Sorry. What's he? What's he giving you, mate? It's just our old, uh, our old clothing. I hadn't seen that that logo for a while. So, yeah. You're right. Some memories. No, I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm good. I'll tell you what, mate. Just don't. I'm not for being filmed now. Don't, you got to film the meeting. No, don't. Don't worry about the meeting, mate. Just, um, I'll catch up when you get back. All right. I'm not in a good place to film right now. It's okay. just hit me that. No, just, just, I'll be alright, I'll be alright, I'll be alright. Right. Yeah, yeah, I'll go to the meeting. I'll see you when I get back. See you later. Yeah. yeah. Alright, mate. He'll come around. To be honest, I didn't, I didn't think he was going to have a happy ending, but. It, it hurts, don't get me wrong, like, you know, there's. We did have great times together, we did. But. Like you do with your best friend, you know. He was like my best best friend. Like I've never had that connection with anyone before. 